Welcome everybody, this is yours, Leobach, and you're just in time for more Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. <coughs> in the last episode, we defeated the March Hare, sort of, though he got away and recovered half his legs. In this episode, we're going to be uh, attempting to take out the uh, Dormouse, whom I'm fairly convinced has turned into a psychotic version of Fink from Bioshock Infinite. So basically, Fink if he was in the original Bioshock. So yes, um, in the, uh, what we have to do now is we have to try to make our way across to the glow, to the uh, snow globe over there, um, and hope to do something, <laughs> uh, which is kind of the theme of this entire game, is you make your way to this area, you're not sure what you're doing until you get to that point, which in all fairness is kind of how Wonderland works, and anyway... Um, they can see we're in a fire area, technically speaking, or a lava area in any, any way. A snow globe probably could, could be a good indication of what we're about to do. What is this going to do? It's going to rapidly cool all the metal in this area. And now we get ready for a part that I have really dreaded at least for this section of the game there's other parts i dread even more so than this but <sighs> this is the part of the game where you really learn to hate bloat flies i'm just getting flat out tell you right now um just primarily because they're just so annoying and you can't look any lower than that Okay, so our next goal is actually not to go up there, but to go down here and take care of that. And, you know, pop that bolt, uh, bolt fly. Ah, screwed up there. Oh. Pop that guy and just pop this guy. I went through this recording three times already. And every time something bad happened and I died. And when you die, you have to restart this whole area from the beginning. So it really isn't fun. Um, top of that, I was having some audio issues. And it's kind of why I had to restart the recording to begin with. But still. <laughs> three consecutive restarts. Three or multiple audio issues, like something different each time. Um, right there we got a bottle for that. And my phone <laughs> tell me I have emails. Go figure. Um, so yeah, this basically, today doesn't seem like it's a good day to, to be recording video, to be recording. But I'm doing it anyway hope, in the hopes of uh, getting stuff to at least Trying to trying to defy all all the hate, all the uh, evils in the world, and say, you know what? I don't care how evil you're gonna be to me today. I'm gonna record. In fact, my frame rate just kind of got pretty bad. Ouch! It's right here. I gotta switch the controller. Oh, <laughs> hit the wrong button there. <coughs> okay. I know it's a bit awkward having to switch control, having to switch the controller, but it would be for you guys at least. It's kind of actually kind of fun having to do that with it in this case. <laughs> uh, hope we need to. I really like, I really like the combat in this game. It feels very fluid. Once you get the umbrella work and everything, it's, it feels really good. <laughs> Especially when you can actually block this guy's attacks. There we go. And or not block his attacks, but deflect his attacks and actually break his defenses. It's like probably the worst part of this game is having to deal with that. There's an, there's an item we'll get later on in the game that allows you to break defenses without having...
down the block, but by that point you've already become so accustomed to this kind of fighting style. <laughs> I had to fight him. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I mentioned this before, but the way you had to fight him without the umbrella is you had to bring out the uh, the bunny here, and they'll focus on the bunny instead. So you bring out the bunny and start having having that having them attack that, and while they do that, you take pot shots at them. And it, if it sounds inefficient, um, it is. But keep in mind that that's what we had to work. That's what I had to work with. <laughs> so unless you have a controller and you're, if you're uh, that intent on playing it on the PC, um, you're gonna have to either get yourself a USB controller, and guaranteed that most USB controls will probably work. Mine doesn't because I have a third-party. Uh, adapter for PlayStation 2 controller, so obviously uh, some things are mixed. Um, but if you go if you go and get yourself an Xbox E60 controller or an Xbox One controller if you're watching this far enough in the future, uh, where they actually have a D-pad that works. <laughs> um, there we go. The only reason I'm actually using a PS2 controller right now is because it's a D-pad. It's the only thing that I feel actually works. Because I have a, I have a uh, Logitech controller, but that doesn't uh, it's got a circular D-pad, and I hate those. Really, Nintendo knows exactly what they're doing there. Um, so, yeah. Um, right here while we wait for it to load, and, uh, yep. <laughs> Go figure. My keyboard starts moving on, or my, yeah. Not the keyboard, it's, the game starts moving on its own because I'm using a keyboard. I don't know why it does that. I just could never, can never figure that out. It's only when it's transition is not that bad. It's not that big a deal in all honesty. You just have to push the W key again. Huh. So no uh, no quirk, no quirky quirky riddles there. Just kind of just flat out telling us. <laughs> <laughs> that's that does not seem like the cat like the treasure cat. Ah. I find it funny that he tells us that now, considering that we've been doing that for a while at this point. Um let's see where do we need to head Okay, so that's probably where we need to head to next. I think this will probably lead us to memory. Um or a little bonus area like they normally do. Oh, teeth. Uh, let me check our weapons. Oh, how much do we need to upgrade? Uh, 575 for the pepper grinder, which we'll probably do that next. Um, just because it's the cheapest right now. And, you know, I, you know, you can, you get to see what it looks like and what in the... Oh, that's... Yeah, I mentioned in the commentary last episode how I like the, uh, the aesthetic, aesthetic design choices. I don't think I used those exact words, but I like the how they make everything look in this game. Like they, they, they really do make it look like it's Wonderland if it's been twisted and perverted in a way um, by traumatic events and psychotic episodes. <laughs> and they do a good job of doing that, too. And later on, they do that with other areas. Um... Don't need to be up here yet. I need to actually activate that. <laughs> um. So right here, we have to ride the vents up. I think they want. I think they want you to take that then over to this one, but you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't roll that way. I like to be original. I like to do things that you're not supposed to do. <laughs> like you know. Uh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me rephrase that. I like, I, do, I like to do the unexpected. I like to do the unexpected, you know? Like, and, so, and sometimes, you know, just because it's so unexpected, I like to do what people expect because it's unexpected of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I know that, that's supposed to sound stupid, and it sounds probably worse than I meant for it to be. It sounds dumber than I meant for it to be. Um, pick up my controller. Come uh, on, out. Here, I think we gotta head this way. Yep. Oh. Okay.
Okay, so you don't you don't immediately start gliding down until you actually uh, do your for your uh, second jump. Okay. Hit a thorny dead. Yeah, maybe I'm just going crazy. <laughs> Which, considering considering the game we're playing, I wouldn't be surprised if we if I did go crazy. Considering that we don't have a life counter, I assume that we do have more than nine lives. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, over here, anything over here that we want to get, it's the way the teeth are, it'd be something, oh well, um, at least we got some teeth out of it. That thing to contend for, can, can, yeah, contend against now. I cannot speak. That was a little painful. Okay, so this kind of hard. Oh. Yeah, there we go. to attack. Come on. Come on. There we go. Took your time. Uh, it, that's probably one of the worst things I hate about, about some games, like having to wait on enemies to attack. Those types of enemies are really annoying because of that. But I guess, you know, it's supposed to teach you patience and get you used to that kind of thing. And, you know, whatever. <laughs> I guess that's kind of necessary. Otherwise, the game would get really boring really fast. Um. Whoa. Let me see here. We're going to head this way. Yep. And here we have a mushroom. Look at the shadows, wow. That is the first time I've seen these shadows. <laughs> I, like how they, how, I like how they at least look dynamic. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> just flat out kooky. <laughs> this goes right past uh, goes right past the levels of insanity and right into in just flat out more insanity. Okay, so this kind of one trying to destroy those things before it becomes a nuisance, and get over here before it actually raises. By the way, you probably want to wait for this to raise up before you start uh, jumping over to them. And right there we got another one of those guys to worry about, and wow, that's not going to end well. Uh, I can see this being really, really annoying. My controller's falling off my leg. There. Okay, so. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Run! Ah! Pick the wrong time to jump! Pick the wrong time to jump! Ah! That was terrifying. That was annoying. Hard to 
Or I shouldn't even say terrifying, it was more painful than anything else. Okay, so now we have, uh, there we go. Now everything's frozen. Hmm. Okay. That's good for you, Dormouse. Um. <laughs> so let's uh let's kill this guy, shall we? So right now you see what we have. Uh, more block, more bolt flies. I just, some reason I want to keep calling them bo block flies. That's not gonna work. Is it? Did it? The thing. Ah. Again, the reason I hate the bo the bolt flies. And this will start. Yep. Go ahead and pop that. Just real quick, let's recover some of our health. Or all of our health, really. <laughs> the keyhole over here. Wow. Surprised I noticed this before. Well, I guess I, I guess I would have been able to notice it was under lava at this point. <laughs> That bottle. Um, I don't think the bottles or memories or anything do anything for you, except just give you like you know a completion bonus for you know getting them. Yes, we can. That's the funny thing, like, they put these here expecting you to actually do that. And so they like, you just see the path ahead of you open. Alright then, if you look closely, you should, you can also still, after you uh, reveal them the first time, you can still see uh, little spots where they are. At least for a little bit, of, <clears throat> at least for a little bit, I don't know how long they last. I guess it might last as long as you, uh, for as long as you keep them up or something. Like a fraction of that time or something. Mm. Yeah. Come on, move back! Uh, that is not good. Oh, that's why. That means we're in the way. There. Whew. And this is going to become a nightmare. There we go. Got a new uh, thing to hit. Let's see, can we get, let's get this health before it disappears? And before we hit the switch, let's go ahead and see if we can at least find some health. Nope. We just found some hollows, and I think we have enough to upgrade the pepper gun again. Let me see. Nope, not quite. Ten more. Well, nine more, technically speaking, but still, either way. Ten more, rough estimates. <laughs> and we cannot. Wow, that's, that's kind of weird. I don't know where they'll keep you from going up there. I know that's supposed to be the exit point, but still. Okay, so we just got, got a platform away over here. Ouch. <laughs> that didn't end well. Let's try again, shall we? I gotta give props to Alice. She's probably the most badass character you'll ever see in a video game. She can beat the crap out of these out of these slime creatures using just a knife. 
can get the kitchen knife. She can platform like the like better than Mario. She can fly in the air, jump twice, or not fly, but, you know, glide in the air. And when she dodges, she turns into butterflies, and like that's like a teleport move. Good for you, Dormouse. Good for you. Uh, uh. Okay, so let's see here. We dealt with the Dormouse for this for this time being. Um, we got that to contend with, and I'm sure we got another one. Those things always come in pairs, it seems. Um, I don't think we're done here yet. We need to get. Oh, there we go. We just head up this way. There we go. And we hit the lever. And ha and Hatter's arms go back into his in, go back to his body, I guess. So yeah, um, I think now is as good a time as any to end the episode off here. So the next episode we'll head down the chute. Never mind, we're gonna go down the chute anyway, because I triggered the cutscene. Huh. I guess we'll continue on, in, on this way anyway. Then, um. Yeah. Let's see the Hatter constructed. I say, as disturbing as they as they look, the gears on his on his arms do look pretty cool. Like the kind of, the way they kind of stick out, that does look pretty awesome. Which I guess disturbing isn't the, isn't the word for it. <laughs> as disturbing as he looks, I should. Say. I like how this patch is hat. Wow, the Hatter is huge. <laughs> Hatter's got some mad skills, man. So, yeah. <laughs> that just happened. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here for now. So the next episode will continue on further um, and finally deal with the Dormouse and March Hare. Until then, I'll see you guys later.